In 3.2, uh, we're going to do the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. What we're going to do is start out with what might seem like a silly example, which is number 7 divided by 2. You could write it as 7 over 2. I'm not going to use this notation. So you may have used this in the past, absolutely, but I'm going to stick with this notation right here. And if you're a decimal person, 3.5, absolutely. I am going to think about it as 3 plus a half, or you can say it as 3 and a half. Now you could write this as 3 and a half, but this looks a lot like multiplication. So I am going to avoid this notation. So I'm going to write 3 and a half as 3 and a half more with addition. Now I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm going to multiply by 2. And the equation I'm going to multiply by 2 is this part. So I'm just going to pair up 7 halves, use 3 and a half. Now I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2, both sides. 7 equals... One half times two is one. So what does this equation tell me? This tells me seven is three twos, or three times two, with one left over, remainder one. Now, we're gonna do long division. How does that work? You put the, uh, one of these is a quotient, and the other one's the divisor. Uh, this will be the quotient, the remainder, divisor dividend, or dividend divisor, something like that. So we're going to do 2 divided by 7, long division. It's not going to be very long. We'll be over this very quickly. How many times 2 going to 7? 3. 3 times 2. 6. This step is important. Make sure you're subtracting. You don't want to add 7 and 6 and get 13. That would be bad. You get 1. Now, 1 does not go back into 2. So I'm going to write 3, remainder, 1. How do we write that? In an equation, what we just did corresponds to this equation right here. Uh, 2 goes into 7 3 times of 1 left over. So you can write 7 as 3 twos and 1 more.